after you hit subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell as well as stay tuned at the end of the video for the question of the day. Let's go! What's going on my fellow fuck butts? Zombie the Circle here and I'm back with another video just to educate my people. Okay, so this is something that a lot of people may have come in contact with depending on what your species of your persona may be. And a lot of things that people say like when it comes to species is that, oh, this species is overrated and this species has too many, too many characters and this species is way too popular so I don't want to choose that and it's something that goes on and on and on in our fandom and then people have to like modify the things that they like that way they can fit this stigma that other people have set in place. For example, we'll use circles for example. You know back you know back a couple of years ago circles weren't all really that big because there weren't a whole lot of suits of them in circulation. You know there's only like a handful of like really good fursuiters that you know had circle suits. And like as the years progressed circles got a little bit more and more popular. And like circles started popping up here and there and then like whenever I'm like scrolling on forums and stuff and I'll see people talking about you know making their personas and stuff like that they're tending to kind of shy away from species that are more popular and trying to go with some stuff that is more obscure while that is a pretty good thing because it's always nice for us as furries to see a suit of a species that we haven't seen very often but at the same time, if there is a species that you like, then no circumstance should change that. It shouldn't change, you know, your feelings for that species. If your favorite animal is a wolf, then hey, make your persona that wolf. And it can have as many colors or it can be as simple as you want it to be. Your persona is your character and you make it 110% how you want it. So with all these other things set in place, you can still pick one, two, or all of them. You can try to cram as many species as into one character that you can. You want to know why? Because you are entitled to do that because it is your character. And it shouldn't matter how popular a species is because over time, something that's obscure will kind of blow up if provided enough attention. Because, you know, like the foxes and the wolves, you know, like canid species is the felines, you know, circles, dragons, stuff like that. It's stuff that are pretty popular, but when you get the stuff like, you know, bats and mongooses, armadillos, you know, obscure creatures like that, that's when the personas kind of get a little bit unique and more people are trying to funnel other people, especially like the newer people in the fandom, they're trying to funnel them towards those species because I'm guessing that they personally are tired of seeing all these wolf sonas, but you can't beget your personal feelings onto someone else because it is their character and they do with it what they want. Now, if they feel that they don't want to make, you know, their persona a species that's something that's already, you know, big and popular, then that's up to them. But you as an individual cannot, you know, belittle some other individual based on their preferences and their favorites, likes and dislikes, stuff like that. Like I say, I particularly chose a circle because I was looking for a species that just kind of spoke to me. And you know, I'm looking at all these different suits and looking at all this art and different species and characters and stuff like that. And I'm just sitting there hand on the freaking snoop and I'm just kind of scrolling like, no, none, none of this is just, none of this is like striking my fancy. But then I saw the first suit, Shiny Fighter, that um, DVC made a while back, and I was like, yo, what is that thing? And then, you know, I did a little bit more research, found, you know, the Vilas Wiki, started reading up on circles and looking at all the stuff, and I'm like, that is a species that I could definitely get behind because I just, I like the design of the circles. Actually, a lot of mixed designs, like with the circles, the Nevrians, the Talixians, all those, like I am on board with all of them. And at one point in time, I thought about like making characters with each of these species and possibly getting some suits in the distant future because her artwork and just her visual mindset and all that stuff, her creativity just speaks to me on a physical, emotional, and spiritual level. Mixed creations as a whole are just 
so, 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 so very nice. And those, like I say, those are just examples of, you know, species and stuff like that that speak to me. Now, and you may not have, you know, the same taste or whatever, which is all well and good. So, yeah, just don't let anybody else change, like, what you like. Because you like what you like and stick to it. Because that's what you like. That's what makes you your own person. You don't have to follow into the ideals of all these other groups and popularities and stuff. Do what you want. But, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and close this. So... If you like this video, go ahead and scratch that like button so that I can post more awesome content in the future. You want to talk to me? Have some Twitter. You want to stay updated as well as know what the next Q&A is going to be? Have for affinity. And as y'all fan artists off of the circle, fan artists always welcome. Keep it PG-13. Nah. But as always, my name is Zop of the circle, and I'm out of here. Pfft. la 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 Question of the day. Do you think that the species of your fursona is a species that is unique or is it quite common? Post down there in the dimly below and I'll share my thoughts with you guys.